All right, we are at the Rupert Nee booth with my buddy Jonathan. How are you, Jonathan? Excellent, man. I'm really excited to be here. I want to show you guys a little bit about our 500 series. We have some cool stuff. First thing you're going to start with, most of the time we're recording, is a mic pre. So we have the 511 mic pre. All right, so what makes the 511 cool? Okay, the hallmarks of Rupert Nee Designs, Class A technology, transformer-based, high voltage, and that sound. 72 dB of gain, plus or minus six here, 66 dB steps. We got a high pass filter, variable up to 250 hertz, and we've got silk red here. What's silk? Silk is a way of taking the output transformer, feeding it back to on itself, and being able to saturate the core to get to that classic vibe, that classic sound of Rupert Neve that everybody's so familiar with and so loves. And what we always feel it's really important is that you, as a performer or an artist, musician, we want to give you the control. We want you to be able to set up the way things sound and what you're doing with it. So on some days, you may want a little bit of drive on something, or you may want a ton, or you may want something all the way over as vibey as you can get it. And we think it's important that you have control and that you have a piece that's flexible. It's not just one sound, it gives you many sounds. Towards that end, this piece over here is a very cool piece. It's the 542 tape emulator. So you have an input transformer, you have an output transformer with a soft clip on the input transformer with silk red and silk blue on the output transformer. Silk blue is modeled after a 1064. Silk red is modeled after a 1073 for that classic mid-range drive that a 1073 is known for. Oh wait, there's more. No. Then you've got a, 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 an actual tape head or transformer. All, tra all tape heads are in fact a transformer. They're you know cordless transformer. So you've got saturation amount of that, you can actually saturate that. So you have three ways to saturate it, and you've got switching between 15 IPS and 30 IPS record electronics, so you've got that head bump that we're so used to on, on uh, uh, 15 IPS, and you've got that mid-range grind that you're so used to on 30 IPS. You've got a blend control, really flexible thing. So all analog, no digital, no plug-in, it's not modeling it, it actually is saturating iron. We were so thrilled to bring out the 511 at $545 to actually have a mic pre under $1,000 for us, which is what so many of you guys out there requested that we do, and it's been a huge hit for us because of that. And what everybody loves about the 500 series is the mix and match aspects. Pull things out, try it, you don't like it, sell it off, buy another one, like it, buy two more, all of that. It empowers you as the user to put together the palette you want. Like I, I've talked about this before, but I, you know, I, as musicians and artists and producers and engineers, we, we're like artists. We want to be able to paint in blue one day, green one day, black and white one day. We want all those choices, and that's what this is all about: is giving you the choice to plug in the things that you want or the colors in your palette that you want to have. But the last thing in this rack is the 551 inductor EQ. So what's cool about an inductor? An inductor is also half a transformer. This is modeled after a 1064, so we got out Rupert's classic original 1064s and went back and back and forth in the design phase until we got the sound of that girth and size of a 1064. Then you got a 1073 on the mid-range, then you got something a little bit more modern on the top for a little bit more air and open sound. So it's really a best of in the 500 series format. A greatest hits. Yeah, and that's, that's what we're looking for is to be able to give the user a choice of flavors, a choice of technologies. Yeah.